Welcome to Lounge TV, or Larry's Lounge. I'm not really sure what channel we're putting this up on. Uh, this is probably the hardest video that I've ever gonna have ever made, or I'm ever gonna make. Hopefully, um, everybody knows about um, by now. Most people, anyway, know that uh, my sister passed away, Jackie, Aunt Aunt Jackie, Aunt Wacky, Wacky Aunt Jackie, whatever you wanted to call her. Um, and it took me a while, I knew I was going to do a video, it took me a while to do this, um, it's still surreal to me, it's, I've been going through every range of emotion that you can possibly think of from, you know, deep sorrow to, um, anger to confusion to, um, unbelief. You know, or disbelief that you know. I, I still want this to be a nightmare. I just want to wake up and everything be back to normal. But that that'll never happen. <sighs> the burial already happened, um, so this is placed more in real time than all the rest of our videos. Um, it's. It's just going to be a different world now. There is, uh, Jackie brought a light to everything. She was uh, not only a great sister, but a great friend to everybody. Uh, and I mean everybody. It's like, she wasn't just an aunt to Jesse JT and, and uh, Tom. She was a best friend aunt. Um, same thing. If I get, get through this, it'll be hard. She always had a smile on her face. If, if I asked her to come out to do a, a challenge video, she was all about it. Um, she loved people, she loved games, she loved playing. Um, different roles for Jesse. she absolutely loved. You know, I also, you know, I know there's going to be ads on this video and, you know, I'm going to have the haters come on and say stuff and I don't really care. I know that if I didn't put ads on this video, a big hand's going to come out of the sky and smack me upside the head and say, what, what are you doing? Jackie w was all about the business of the, of the making videos and everything. Um, she loved, she loved interacting with you guys. I know she wasn't very active on Twitter lately, but I know that she, she talked to a lot of people and touched a lot of hearts. Um, the chickens are trying to say that, say something to, and uh, I wanna share something with you guys that, uh, I had a dream before Jackie passed. It was, uh, I guess it was Saturday night. Wait a second, I got something in my eye now. It's not just a tear. Um, I had a dream that uh, I was outside over here by the chickens and from behind the fence over there came a group of people and they were all people that I knew from church. And they went over to my chicken coop and they were just looking at me. There wasn't any interaction or anything. It was just, they were looking. And then, somehow, my dad was there. My dad went and, I put it this way, I think it was my dad. I never really looked at his face. I just had the sense that it was him. And the next day I know he put a chicken took it out of the pen and put it on the ground and the chicken flew away and it got up in the air and you know most chickens will only go up in the air so high but this one once it got airborne it just went over the trees it was one of the darker chickens the first six and so the uh, the chicken flew over the trees, and then I was really mad at my dad, and I was really PO'd. So, uh, 
somebody said, and it was somebody that was over by the, the chicken said, you know, once once a chicken leaves here and it goes over there, you won't, you'll never find it again. That was the dream. I didn't think nothing of it. I, uh, I just figured, okay, that was weird. I wasn't thinking about the chickens that day or anything like that. Um, my dad, I never saw his face in it, but I sensed that it was my father. And the other people from church, you know, I haven't even, you know, seen them in a long time. I don't even know if some of them are living still. But uh, afterwards, I, I, even on Sunday when Jackie was in the hospital, and that was Easter day, we were sitting there, um, you know, in, uh, over Terry's house and we were all talking and everything. I, before I went there, I had text Jackie and I was talking to her and I said, because she was supposed to make potato salad, so it was like, if you want, didn't want to really make potato salad, you could have just told us. You didn't have to go through all this, kidding around with her, because that's what I do. I make jokes. Um, and she laughed. And, uh, you know, I got the LOL and the laughing emoji. And then after that, I had told her, I said, we're going to miss you at the festivities today. And she said she's going to miss us too. And then uh, I texted her. I think you're faking the whole thing because... You want to just, or you don't want me to whip up on you in cornhole, kidding around, because Jackie was the most competition I had in cornhole out of anybody that I know. I know there's a lot of people that are better than I am, but uh, we had battles. I mean, we were, we were right there. She'd beat me most of the time. Um, and then the last thing that she put was the thing, but uh, she was also talking about, we were talking about her condition, and she has, uh, she has <coughs> sluggish blood. And uh, that's what my dad had. She had this, this Jack 2 factor, like, uh, and it gives you sluggish blood. And uh, I told her, I said, yeah, dad got you, right? And she said, yeah, he sure did. And then I told her about the dream. Um, and she, she laughed at it, because I got mad at my dad in it. Uh, and the next, you know, and to tell you a little bit about what was going on is she had went the week before to the hospital and she she said, told them that she thought she had a blood clot in, the, in her leg. And uh, I guess they ran tests and said she did. So a week later, or not even, I don't even know if it was a week. I don't have all the, the details about this. Um, but she went to the hospital and uh, they found a blood clot behind or in her knee or I don't know if it was behind or where. And one in her lung. And uh, she was supposed to have a procedure on um, April 1st to have it removed from her lung. I guess they were going to go up a, some kind of vein or something like that. And she was nervous about it. But we're all, okay, it's serious, but, you know, they're going to take it out. No problem. She's only, you know, 62. She's not old. She has a lot of years left. And, uh, Monday morning, I get a phone call from Terry, and you know, who was crying and just said, you know, they're doing chest compressions on her. So I ran out the door and I ran over Terry's, and then we went to the hospital. But before we even got there, um, my niece, her daughter, had told me that she passed. So um, I, we don't even know all the particulars. Like the doctors have been not forthright, or or, or information got lost somewhere from when they told Chuck or, or, or uh, something. We haven't gotten all the details from, because no, when, when we were there at the hospital, no doctors came to tell us what happened or anything. So all we know is that she passed, and so we assume that the, the blood clot must have went to her heart. But uh, the reason why I'm telling you about the dream is because it was after that that I realized I never saw my dad's face. I just knew it was my father. So was it really my dad or was it my father? You know, my heavenly father. And uh, I didn't even realize it until Tom reminded me that one of the chickens' name was Aunt Jackie. Or Aunt Gacky, I think we called it. 
because it was the loudest chicken in the in the first batch and if you go back and look at the video I think I did of the the little chicks in the thing I said I'm gonna name that one Aunt, Aunt Gacky but see one of the problems was is that when they grew up we couldn't tell the difference between any of them they all look the same now so I don't know which one it was and then I'm like was that dream prophetic I don't know you can you can kind of say a lot of things about different things you know after the fact and all that stuff but uh I don't know I really don't know I, I'm still trying to make sense of the whole thing um, I told you guys before we lost the we lost the light in this world it got a little dimmer and I know she'll always be part of us and everything but it was like She was somebody that could always make you smile or make you laugh. Me and her went in hysterics, and Terry went in hysterics. It, we were closer than most siblings because we worked together also. Um, we, we did everything together just about. We went on vacations together. We, we played games. We never grew up. <laughs> we just loved to play games. Uh, any kind of game you can imagine. I, I can't even imagine playing croquet again. It would never be the same. I can't even imagine playing cornhole again because it'll never be the same without her there. She was competitive, but she was good. She was actually beyond good. She was better than most. And I know a lot of you guys out there have reached out to me, and I'm thankful for that. Um, I've seen the love that's been poured out. And I have a lot of DMs. <clears throat> that people have sent me and I appreciate them. I just haven't gotten to the point where I, I can respond to them yet. Um, I will eventually, um, those that have reached out to me. She touched a lot of people, a lot more people than you would think, you know, but she did um, because everybody could see who she was. Our family was ne is never gonna be quite the same. We're going to hold each other a little tighter now. Um, I suggest you guys all do the same because in a blink of an eye, your whole world could change. Guys, I don't know if we're putting this up, what channel, I don't know, that's up to Tom, but uh, I love you all and I want to thank you for everything that you guys have said and done. And Until next time. Grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up, relax, and we'll meet you at the lounge. It's just not going to be as much fun.